A follow-up. We teased the big internet summit this past week here at the Castle on the last program. And a follow-up to that, actually, before we even get to the internet summit. So we've obviously everybody's been hearing about the issues that I've had here again with the internet, Wi-Fi, and the various and sundry affiliated technologies here at the Castle. And so we had the internet summit scheduled for Thursday afternoon, but we had made some progress in bumping our signal up here on the the Skype machine so that you and I could record the program last time. So I'm I'm already feeling cursed on the internet. I go to the post office Wednesday morning, and there's the lovely and talented Bree, and I'm just wheeling those domestic packages over the counter. Boom, 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 boom. And then I had like eight or ten international packages. Save those for last. Put those up. She starts the first one. Yep. And she's looking at the screen. What? She can't connect to the customs website the only post office function that her computer will not perform is the one that i'm asking for she can't connect to the customs thing to type in the information to do that and she said it was down all day the day i was in came right back up the next day when i wasn't in so i finally got that done this morning but then i went home and i decided well i'm gonna go ahead and and get the rest of my work done, which I did, and then I'm going to relax, possibly put my feet up in the bedroom, watch a, a little bit of television before I lay my weary head down for slumber. The cable box in on the bedroom TV goes out. It had been dodgy. for The program guide became unavailable on Tuesday. And then by Wednesday evening, then like I said, the the fucking cable, the you couldn't get cable TV, but you could still watch a program on the DVR. That lasted about an hour, and then that went dead. And then it was just like, pfft. and uh, honestly, I have hold on here. Where is uh, <clears throat> aha? I had gotten an email, and this was on Thursday, so this guy was was right on top of things. And I won't read his name for obvious reasons, but hey there, Jim. Obviously, I'm a big fan. Otherwise, I wouldn't be emailing your ass. I just heard about your issues with Spectrum and trying to order the AEW pay-per-view, which wouldn't work for me last weekend. I work for these no-good sacks of gum bump and snake feces and felt compelled to tell you why I think you couldn't <laughs> order the pay-per-view and your internet has been the drizzling shits. They probably won't tell you, but Spectrum in the Kentucky area was undergoing a back-office billing system upgrade. They fucked it up as they do most things. And I don't think they had resolved it, had, had it resolved until Sunday evening, possibly Monday morning. From what I heard, pay-per-view purchasing was the last issue they were having with this upgrade. This might get me fired, but oh well, fuck them. You and Brian keep me entertained daily at this corporate piece of shit, and I thank you both. Well, thank you, John... Higginlooper of fourteen forty two <laughs> Meadowview Drive, Spectrum oh, employee. It. No, I'm I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, so I got that. <laughs> That's one of and their employees. The, yeah, <laughs> and I got some other tweets also that weren't real complimentary of, of, of them. And and but anyway, so then Hotchkiss gets over here Thursday about noon. And I walked him through the whole layout, and he's taking notes, and he, I'm telling him that he's asking questions, and he's trying to see how this thing's all so that he can converse in the language of these people. Uh, you know, like the, it's the secret speaking of tongues, like it, at Code Academy. So anyway. That's not what they do at Code Academy. Well, they speak in this mysterious coded language. They do. I've heard them modems and routers and <laughs> authorizations and provisionals and things and such i don't know but anyway so he gets here gentleman named marvin and marvin was on the ball remember the last time somebody came out here from this company they were like 16 years old you just knew they were a complete moron and actually he was complaining about having to clean up the other guy's work uh behind him but anyway, Marvin has been on a job for 17 years. Marvin's got his shit together. And he starts looking, and we explain the progression of things over the last 
nearly 20 years of the wiring and etc. And then he and Hotchkiss start measuring signals. Now, remember, I had, when we were having the Skype issues, I had 200 and something bytes of down, of down, is it upload or download? What you have now or what you had then? No, well, the, what I told you, uh, the big number in front. You had upload or well, download. Two, well, I had 200 and something of that and only 20 of the other. It was 20 well, upload, 200 something download. There you go. Tw 200 bytes of upload and 20 bytes of download. Apparently the download's a little skinnier. It doesn't get to eat as fucking heartily. But anyway, then when Stacy had taken the 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 signal boosters for the Wi-Fi and stuff and plugged the thing directly in the, uh, the framostat that blew the conniption hinge. Well, then I had 400 something bytes of, uh, yeah. And, and, and 20 something or more. And then old Marvin got to checking and he said, well, you're, you're only getting, you're only uh, contracted for 500 bytes. I said, was well, that all you got? I said, no, we have a gig package. I said, wait a minute. I don't want to have to cut myself over this. You did not he, say that. He looked him. at me. Bla Actually, I did because I was in front of Hodgkin. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd get As soon as you have an audience, is a problem. <laughs> Marvin looked at me blankly. But apparently, when we asked him on the phone, we said, give us, give us all you got, Captain. They gave us the 500 byte package, but not the one gig package, which is apparently twice as much as 500 bytes. That's the way they do their math. So anyways, all right, let's do whether well, you got to call an upgrade. So, and he's, by the way, he said, you got, you got two, two modems in the house. Said, yes. Two modems or routers, whatever. Yes. One at each end was one business and one's residential. I said, well, yeah, this one's in my office I use for business, and that one's just for personal use down there. And he said, well, was, you got two accounts. I said, no, I only got one account. Well, how'd you do that? I see your company sold it to me that way. And we said we had to have that because we couldn't get the Wi-Fi from one end of the castle to the other without the two modems at each end. Oh, okay. So we call up, and do you believe this, Brian? This is the technician from the company, but they make him have to call the customer service line and go through the automated yes, no, and wait on hold to talk to some other schmo like just the rest of us marks. So that was off-putting. But then finally, we get through and... Some guy on customer service, and we want to upgrade. Oh, I can help you with that, sir. 45 minutes later, he was still telling me he could help me with it. Because at first, he I gave him to Marvin. I said, here, talk to Marvin. Marvin's going to tell you everything we need. I'm the guy paying for it. I'm just saying yes, right? Okay. And then he hands me back to him, and he's trying to do it. Then he try, Then he has to go get some assistance on his end of the phone. Then finally, everything's taken care of. Oh, wait, there's two modems. Yes. Oh, well that changes things. And he's got to go back and do something else. Finally, he said he was all finished. And Marvin said, all right, it should come right through and I'll check everything. Meanwhile, while all this is going on, Marvin has gone out to the pole, got a ladder, and climbed up there and replaced the cable coming from the pole down the pole and underground because there's cracks in it. Water's getting in there. So anyway, finally, he goes to check it. The extra speed ain't coming through. Well, he has to call back on his phone and meanwhile he and Hotchkiss are again wandering around with their phones like they're with metal detectors on Oak Island searching for <laughs> some type of treasure by measuring the signals in different places and he's doing the speed test on the computer the extra speed ain't coming through he calls back again the previous guy didn't ask a specific question about a certain modem or router and fucked it up 
is the best thing that I can tell you. And he had to talk to somebody else forever who then had to put him onto what they called an escalation team. It sounds like people are going to come out here with tactical weapons and grappling hooks and be scaling the goddamn house. But what that actually means is, apparently, from because Marvin was the only one, and he was, he was like shaking his head. And he's like, I told him, well, I got to. And he said, you know, you, you've, you've called 10 people, you get one, 10 different answers to things. So apparently the escalation team is the next step up from the customer service people that have screwed this up. And they are the ones that have taken it over. And within 24 hours, which was yesterday, by the time Marvin left, it was dark, right? It was getting dark. <clears throat> so around about six in the evening. So within 24 hours from yesterday afternoon, which still hasn't happened yet, the escalation team should have been able to clear whatever damaged or misinformation programming that they put in from that end so that I can get all of my gigs. But I'm up now to, I, mean, I think they measured one at 600 and something. So I've gone from two to four to six. And my and my my other one's like thirty or forty something now. And so sooner or later I'm supposed to get up in the nine hundreds by the time they finish this. But they 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 promised me they'd call me when they got it all worked out. I don't hear the phone ringing yet. You know what you should do? You should call them. No matter what, you should call them Monday well, morning, and you should say. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to AT&T and let them give you a whole bunch of shit and a big discount to stay. After all this, especially call them up and give them shit and mention their competitor who they're actively at war with right now, competing for people like you. Cablevision on Long Island was so afraid to lose me to Verizon Fios at one point, they gave me an iPad. I got a better idea because I got Marvin's name and his, his technician's number. And I'm going to call back if, if it, everything doesn't come through because he knows what's going on here. And I'm going to have him come back. And then I'm going to call them. And instead of saying I'm going to their competitor, I'm going to say, you know, Marvin's been working for you guys for 17 years. And it'd be a shame to lose a valuable employee like that. Have you seen Marvin lately? Are you going to kill Marvin? What are you saying? Well, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, have you seen <laughs> Marvin lately? Do you know where Marvin is right now? Check and see if there's a truck in Marvin's parking spot. Would you like Marvin to come in to work tomorrow? That's all I'm saying. They're going to say, who's Marvin? <laughs> They can have no idea who you're talking about. But then I'll say technician number so-and-so and such-and-such. -and -such. And then they'll say, oh, shit, we can't lose him. He's, he's been dating the boss's daughter. They do such a good job of processing pay-per-view orders. I'm sure they'll be able to handle an emergency situation like the kidnapping and abduction of Marvin. <laughs> Where's Marvin? They'll send out an APB. Where's Marvin? Anyway, so that's so the story is I've got more than I had, but I don't have all of it yet. And it's a continue. It's a developing story. It's a fluid situation. It's, it's, I know what kind of fluid it is, and they're spraying it everywhere, all over all their customers. 